Hey guys, v Batty with another V Plays, and we bought back the F2H. Uh, Postal Monkey put up a video of this thing, and I just couldn't help but to remember back when I first flew this aircraft and how new I was to the game, unsure of myself, and now here we are back in this aircraft, and hopefully Devil Dog comes back. But man, what a what a spectacular aircraft, and what a powerful player this thing can be in the battlefield so I do have the bombs not the rockets I think the rockets look really cool but uh, they do hurt the airspeed a little bit more than the bombs do so we're gonna use the bombs and we're actually gonna do a come on now I'm trying to remember how to drop bombs and also how to use American cannons Go for the climb here. Intercept run on this heavy. Oh, just deleted him. And another deletion, man. It almost looks like the wings are swept forward because they're so straight in the front. There's another heavy gunning for our allies. Another tier nine nonetheless. Burned him up. There's a tier 8 and a human controlled bomber. We don't want him to get his big guns on us there. Does have quite a few people chasing him so we'll let them go to work. Getting those 20s to sync up, not letting them overheat. Able to just wreak havoc on that aircraft. Knocked him out fairly effectively. I'm looking for another target. I don't want to go up against this FJ-1, but we can't ignore the FJ-1. We can catch him by surprise, we can do that. There is the 1056. I think we juked him. Now he's got the Corsair on him, I think. Managed to take him out. Bombs are back up. Let's drop all of them so we don't need to think about it. I think we just put a heavy behind us. But really far behind us. Left the zone, they break off. Understanding them bot mechanics, very handy. All right. Good rule of thumb is, if you don't think you're pulling enough lead, you aren't. We are a fast aircraft, let's use that to our advantage here. There we go. Heading back for the mid. We're doing a great job defending, but we really need to capture. Ah, 
outside of the zone, unfortunately, and it looks like we're back into a defensive posture with the RP-17. We're not hurting too much on point yet, but that time is closing. We're going to drop the nose to get a little bit more speed here as we vector in. We do have a J7 here. He's a little bit too close for comfort. Let's get some distance on him. We do have this human. Got some good hits in. We are definitely hurting on capture now. And there's the J7. Trying to get that nose down and get that airspeed back up. The bomber is coming back into field of view. In the zone, perfect. We are dragging them up to a really high altitude. Caught a bit of flack there. One down. We cannot support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. Do you copy? Should be enough to capture it, but just in case it isn't. Oh, not quite. Bombs hit. Zones captured. Now we're hurting for points. Let's go into assassination mode. most worried about that aircraft. RB-17 is a capture machine, so let's get rid of it. Cool. Just picked up Wing Legend. What's behind me? Ah, oh, jeez. It's the aircraft we didn't want behind us. At least I think it is. Yes, it is. Almost got us. Wing Legend. And we've got something else on our tail now. We did this to ourselves. We're getting some serious noise on the wings. But we are dragging two very dangerous aircraft very far away from the major play areas. And we have the majority of the capture zones. So let's just keep pressing. Look for opportune targets like this J7. Never mind. I think the Yak has finally given up. And we are finally ahead on capture. There's the Corsair. Look how small this map gets when you're moving this quick. Knocked him out. Let's head back for the mid. Get some of that altitude back, that precious, precious altitude. Three to three aircraft left. Come on. Not quite. Was not pulling enough lead. 
we knew we weren't pulling enough lead. There it is. Nice, we managed to take the player out. I don't think we're going to get the chance here. Oh, but we did. Last aircraft. Nice. Locked it in. Oof. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the first time I flew this, I think I got 17,000. And this is like the second or third time I've flown it since repurchasing. Which would explain why the pilot only has three skill points on it. All right. Okay. Postal really can pick his favorite aircraft, can he? Um, <laughs> I mentioned when I did the F6U pirate video that this is the alternate way to get to the American heavy line. And the guns are identical to that of the F6U. So there's a lot of crossover between the two. And it definitely favors high speed gameplay. And man, what a monster battle. We managed to pick up five tokens from that and we got chasing the leprechaun medal. Nice. We were one aircraft shy, guys. One aircraft shy of a top gun as well. We managed to take out bombers six different times. That's a lot of damage being kicked out. We 490 capture points, 19 aircraft destroyed. Man, we absolutely trounced the enemy team. Now, OWSS, great plays. In fact, the whole team really well played. Uh, it was just... I was I was there, I was paying attention, and I wasn't letting you get away with sneaking into our zone. So, man, what a beautiful match. This is a special paint job for this aircraft as well. It almost looks like the wings are forward, doesn't it? Like, it's an optical illusion because the curvature of the wings, because they've got this teardrop shape. But if you actually look at it, like, from wingtip to wingtip, you can tell it's actually straight. So, <laughs> it always looks like it's swept forward, though, and I like it. The idea of it being swept forward is really cool. So we actually have two different paint jobs here. This one actually enhances the cruise speed, and I should be using it based on that logic, but man, how cool is this? It just looks awesome. What a beautiful plane. And yeah, you can use the uh, air-to-ground rockets. In fact, I think you will have to when you're specialized, and they almost look like the way missiles are arranged on modern-day aircraft or air-to-air -air missiles. They kind of... Having the station spread out across the wings, uh, it looks really cool too because they actually kick forward of the wingtips. But uh, I find that the bombs are much more consistent and they don't affect the airspeed as much. So you can just see a comparison here between the two. Oh, wait, does it not affect the airspeed? Am I delusional? Yeah, I'm delusional. It shows an up and down number here. Oh, there it is. It just was taking a second to register. No, it's not. Okay, I am delusional. Uh, the bombs or the rockets will give you the same. We'll throw the rockets back on just for good measure. Uh, because I just said it looked cool. So we all learned something <laughs> at this very same moment. I'm going to go ahead and open the supply crate because I know some of you are wondering what's in the supply crate. So let's see what we get. Uh, yep, ammo I'm never going to use, some equipment, and some materials. Great. Wish it was mechanical parts, though. Anyways, yeah, here it is, the F-2H, a stellar aircraft, a really great preparation for getting you into the XF-90, and an excellent follow-on aircraft to the F-6U Pirate. I'm glad I picked this aircraft back up. I definitely have learned a lot since I first flew it, and... Pull more lead than you think you need to, guys. Aircraft are moving much faster at Tier 9, so if you want to be able to get these guns to hit, pull more lead. It's always easier to pull less lead if you discovered you, you've pulled too much, but it's always harder to try and get that extra amount if you've already forfeited. So pull more lead than you think you need. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one. I'm